I'm a fisherman. Here to show you these curses, but shit gon' get worse when I listen in. You was hype when you said you gon' sin again. But them nuclear missiles like Ritalin. That new covenant, that's when we entering. Cause these new bodies of flesh getting sickening. See the old trend and young nigga gon' live again. When Vladimir press that button, no Benjamin. What you know about that? Where I'm from, every day you get popped in. But it's about to be a change, you can't stop that. And everything is at stake, no outback. Black shirt with the. So, sis, let me ask you a question. So you understand, so you you believe that you're an Israelite, right? All praise to the Most High, right? Go to Revelation chapter 7, you go to Genesis 49, right? So, actually, go to Genesis 49, go to Ezekiel 37, and start at verse 23. But first of all, I want to give all praise glory and honor to you. How about Shimei Arashai? All right. Um, Sister so asked a great question. How do we know which tribes are which, right? Now, look at the sign, right? This is not an end all be all, right? This is just, this is to point us in the right direction, right? So, is every African American from the tribe of Judah? No. Let me explain, right? First and foremost, you have this, this concept called the wheat and the tear. Right? Who the world calls Christ and Hawashai said that the wheat are the children that was sown by the Son of Man, right? They're the children of the kingdom, right? So that a wicked one came and sowed tares amongst the wheat, right? And they grew up together, and you won't be able to tell the difference until the time of the harvest, right? Have you are you familiar with how uh, how agriculture works, how planting seeds and them sprouting? So when, when, when wheat and a tear, which is also known as dermal wheat, right, or false wheat, right, they look exactly the same as they're sprouting up, as they're growing, right? But when they start to bring forth fruit, that's at the time of the harvest. Christ like is the time of the harvest to the end of the world, the end of the age where the Gentiles will rule, right? So the reapers would be the angels. The angels are going to be the only ones that are going to be able to tell the difference between who's a tear and who's a wheat. Right? I'll give you an example, right? You said you're from Haiti, right? So one, one of your Caribbean uh, counterparts, Jamaica, right? You got someone famous named Bob Marley. Bob Marley would be an example of a tear. His mother is a black Jamaican woman, and his father is a so-called white European from Britain, right? So that would be an example of a tear, right? So again, you have that as a reality amongst all the tribes, right? Judah. Every so every so called African American is not not from the tribe of Judah, right? Because you have tears amongst Judah. You have tears amongst Levi. You have tears amongst uh, Issachar, Ephraim, so forth and so forth, right? Now, when you look at so called African Americans, the tribe, who we would say by and large are the tribe of Judah, a lot of so called black people, right? Walking up and down the street today from America, they're actually, if you go back to their patch lineage, they, they, some of them descend from the Seminoles. Some of them descend from the Native Americans, right? So they wouldn't be from Judah, right? They would be from either Gad or Ruben. So what had happened was they just classified anyone with brown to darker skin as Negro. So Native Americans got classified as Negro. Seminole Indians got classified as Negro. They got later reclassified as Black American or African American. So again, this is just a... Uh, in general, right? Now, we know through the scriptures, through prophecy, that the Israelites would be scattered to the four corners of the earth. However, when we look at prophecy, it tells us that the bulk of them would be in the Western Hemisphere. How do I know that, right? Uh, let's get this real quick. Um, the East Coast, right? The Lord said, you, you will scatter. Yeah, bring it out. Jeremiah chapter 18 17. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 17. Uh -huh. I will scatter them as with an east wind. As with an east wind. What direction does an east wind come from? From the east, right? If it's coming from the east, which way is it blowing? So, all right, I'm over here in the east. 
Huh? Right. It's going towards the west, right? Oh, so I will scatter them as with the east wind. The wind is coming from the east, but it's spreading west, blowing west, right? So the vast majority of the Israelites are going to get scattered to the west hemisphere. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. If you go to Isaiah uh, 42, right? Um, that's not 42. Go to land of the north, right? Yeah. I'll get that one. So 16 and, uh, yeah. Yeah. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 16, and verse 14. Uh -huh. Therefore, behold, the day is coming, saith the Lord, that I shall... Just get to the point. Keep reading. Kind. That saith the Lord, that it shall be no more said, the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of Egypt, right? Because the Lord's name, right? The Lord is... The scripture tells us the Lord is known in his judgment, right? His name went forth in the earth as a fearful and dreadful thing amongst the heathen when they heard about what he did to the Egyptians in our deliverance, right? So this is what this is talking about. It's no, the Lord's not going to be known for, for that, right? He's going to be known for something even greater. It's going to be in an even bigger and more grand way, right? So in Egypt, for years, they were getting plagues, right? Getting plagues, getting plagues, getting plagues. Then he allows Pharaoh to let us go then harden his heart, send him after us, split a body of water, let us through, kill them, right? That's crazy, that's unheard of, right? That's gonna pale in comparison to what he's getting ready to do right. for the deliverance of the Israelites, right? Read on. Verse 15, but the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. From the land of the what? From, from the, the land, land of the, of the north. north. From the land of the north. Now at that time when Jeremiah was prophesying, he was prophesying about the Chaldeans coming from Babylon, the land of the north, right? Well, when we look at future prophecy, there would be a mystery Babylon, right? A, a place of confusion, right? A place that is as darkness as darkness itself, right? A place full of all types of abominations, right? We're here in Babylon, right? right. Babylon the Great is America, right? Get that Revelation 18, uh, verse 17. Uh -huh. Can you read it? Come. From the land of the north uh -huh. and from all the lands, whether he had driven them. And all the lands, whether he had driven them. So again, he scattered us amongst all nations over the whole world, but he was scattered on us with a east wind. So the bulk of us would be sent to the west, right? Yeah. So he says, we're going to get delivered from the land of the north. The land of the north is an epithet for Babylon, right? Now, only the southern kingdom of Judah went into Babylon, right? Only the southern kingdom of Judah, right? Go to... Um, you're doing Isaiah, Isaiah, that all this about right? 318, right? Read that. Come, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 17, verse 5. Come, verse 5. Actually, verse 3. Come, verse 3. And so he carried me in the spirit into the wilderness. Uh -huh. And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet. A scarlet colored beast. So, a, so John the Revelator, right? John is prophesying after the death and burial and resurrection of Christ on the island of Patmos where he's in prison, right? He's prophesying about future events, right? Read on. Ah, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast. This woman is a woman. She's sitting on a scarlet covered beast. Beasts symbolize kingdoms in, this, in, in pro prophecy, right? Read on. Full of names of blasphemy. Full of what? Full of names of blasphemy. Come on. Having seven heads uh -huh. and ten horns. This beast has seven heads and ten horns, right? This is going into the Western European power structure, NATO and the EU, right? Which is which comes out of Rome, right? right. He's prophesying while they're under the captivity of Rome. What ha what you'll find is that the prophets prophesy about future events, but they utilize the the modern day oppressor at that time, right? So Isaiah prophesied about the Assyrians. Right? But a lot of the prophecies about the Assyrians are actually about a future place. Isaiah also prophesied about Babylon. Jeremiah prophesied about Babylon, right? But he was prophesying about a future Babylon, right? Not the current Babylon at that time, right? Read on. God. Verse 4. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, uh -huh. and decked with gold and precious stones. Scarlet color, right? She's wearing decked out garments. She's rich right and that time if you were scarlet or purple 
you have money. It's like having Gucci, Fendi, Prada, right? The best of the best at that time, right, Rihanna? Nah, and pearls, and having a golden cup in her hand, uh -huh. full of abominations. Full of abominations. A cup, what do you, what do you put in the cup? Wine, right? Well, prophecy like his wine is a doctrine, right? Her, her cup, her wine is full of abominations. Right, what is what is America's doctrine? What is what is this, this poor's doctrine? That you can be a grown ass man and wake up one day and want to be a five year old girl, right? That you can love anyone that you want to love. You can you can sleep with whoever you want to sleep with. You can have as many sexual partners as you want. All types of fornication and abomination, right? You know what? Come and filthiness of her fornication. And fornication. The Greek word for for, uh, for fornication is porneia or porneus, right? Where we get the word pornography. America has a billion dollar pornography industry, right? America pushes this type of stuff, right, you know what I mean? Her spy, and upon her forehead was the name written, uh -huh. Mystery Babylon. Mystery what? Mystery right. Babylon. So John's prophesying about a Babylon after the Babylonians had already ruled. So this Babylon that Jeremiah was prophesying about, the ones that, that Isaiah was prophesying about in certain contexts was not in regards to ancient Babylon, but to a future Babylon, a mystery Babylon, right, read on. Huh. Mystery Babylon, the great mother of all of parlance uh -huh. and abomination of the earth. Uh -huh. Verse 6. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints. She would be drunken with the blood of the saints. This particular woman who's riding on a scarlet color, colored beast, right? This woman, right, is America. She's the whore, right? Who are the saints? The saints are the Israelites. America was built off of whose backs? The backs of so-called Native Americans, the backs of so-called uh, blacks. In the blacks, the blacks, so-called, uh, so-called Latinos, right? So you got boom, white man comes over from from Europe, from England, right? Takes over the 13 colonies from the Native Americans. Then they start importing slaves from Africa, right, to the Americas, right? America expands through manifest destiny, right? Through what mechanism? Through war, right? The Mexican-American War, right? But yeah, a bunch of white people say, you know what? Let's go to Texas. Let's go to the Mexican land and let's take it from them, right? Then we look at the Louisiana Purchase. The Louisiana Purchase does not happen unless your people, your, your ancestors rise up and, and beat the French, right? Now, contrary to what a lot of people understand, America actually invaded Haiti in the early 1900s and, and literally crucified Haitians. This woman is drunk with the blood of the saints, right? She, she built her kingdom. She, she got all this costly array on her through what? Through the blood, sweat, and tears of so-called Black Hispanic Native Americans, the Israelites, right? Gotta bring it up. God, this is the book of Micah, chapter four, verse 10. Uh -huh. Be in pain and labor to bring forth, uh -huh. O daughter of Zion. O daughter of Zion. That is used in reference to the southern kingdom of Judah, right? Zion being Jerusalem, which is the capital down in the southern kingdom, right? At that time, you know for as like a woman in travail, uh -huh. for now shall thou go forth out of the city. Now shall thou go forth out of the city. Go forth out of Jerusalem, right? Christ prophesied that Jerusalem will be trying now out of the Gentiles to the time of the Gentiles will be fulfilled. And that the Israelites, the Jews at that time, will be scattered, will be led away captive into all nations, right? So that you will go forth out of the city, and you shall go where? For thou shalt go forth out of the city, Thou shalt dwell in the field. Thou shalt dwell in the field. Christ gave a warning. When, when you see the armies <laughs> come pass around Jerusalem, know that it's desolation. It's not. This is why they had to go forth out of the city. Right? And he said, he gave the warning, hey, go go hide in the, in the mountains. Go go to the mountains. Flee to the mountains. What mountains were, were, were Israel always fleeing to? They were fleeing into Egypt. So we would flee into Egypt, right? And over time, we would make our way through Egypt, Right down to Sudan and then across the Sahara, right, get to West Africa. That's the field that we would dwell in for a time, a uh, time in the Bible time, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In the field, and thou shalt go even to Babylon. Thou shalt go where? Even to Babylon. Thou shalt go even to Babylon. So we went from West Africa to Babylon, which is America, right? This is about the southern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, right? So we know by and large that the Israelites will get scattered to the four corners of the earth. They will get spread with the east wind. Babylon is the land of the north, right? Read that in Jeremiah.
the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, chapter 3, and verse 18. And in those days, the house, the house of Judah shall walk in the house of Israel. Uh, shall walk with the house of Israel. So Judah, at the time of Jeremiah, right, when he was prophesying, the, the northern kingdom was already gone. Right? They had already went into Assyria, right? And around this time, they, they had already got up out of Assyria, all right, and came over to the Americas, right? We can show you that in prophecy, right? But Jeremiah is prophesying that Judah and Israel are going to walk together. Well, how can they, if they're in Assyria and then left from Assyria, right, and Judah's still in the land, right, getting ready to go into Babylon, right? Read on. And they shall come together out of the land of the north. Out of the land of the north. The land of the north is Babylon, right? But again, Judah only went into Babylon. Northern Kingdom did not go into Babylon. So how can that be? Because it would be in the future, right? In the future, mystery Babylon, right? Trump, this woman is drunk with the blood of the saints. Right? You know what? To the land that I have given for an inheritance unto their fathers. You see that? And again, as the brother just read in Micah 4, right? We, we, Southern Kingdom, will go into Babylon, right? And from there, the Lord will redeem us and bring us back into our land but he's going to redeem us with the northern kingdom right so we got to bring it out uh, and this is the book of jeremiah chapter 50 verse 33 uh, thus saith the lord of hosts the children of israel the children of judah were oppressed together they were what they were oppressed together. together again we were oppressed together in egypt right we had various different captivities during the time of the judges where certain tribes were getting oppressed at certain times right Northern Kingdom went into Assyria. Southern Kingdom didn't go. And then Southern Kingdom got oppressed in Babylon by the Chaldeans under Nebuchadnezzar. So Northern Kingdom wasn't there. Northern Kingdom does not come back to the land. Every, right? By and large, in that. Right? You have remnants that had escaped, right? So they didn't, go, they didn't uh, fall under the Greeks. They didn't fall under the Romans. Right? So we got to understand that. Right? Read on. Ah. They, Salakia, so and they that took them captives held them fast. Uh -huh. They refused to let them go. They refused to let them, let them go. Right now you have Mexicans and Central Americans in cages down at the border. Right. You got you got Haitians and, and Jamaicans getting deported at alarming rates. Right? They just they was just trying to stop Haitians from crossing the border. Right? There's a lot of Haitians that actually live in, in uh in Mexico, right? There's a great Haitian diaspora, right? And this is how we are able to identify the tribes through the prophecy, right? So now go to I go to uh what's that? This is the book of Psalms chapter 73 and verse 8. Uh -huh. They are corrupt uh -huh. and speak wickedly uh -huh. concerning oppression. See that that's that's what our oppressors do. They speak wickedly concerning oppression. They think it's okay to literally say, all right, we're gonna steal this land from you and you can't come into it. How do you get off on that, right? But the Lord got something for them. Now, drop that, go to Genesis 49, right? You go to Revelation uh, 7. You got Genesis 49, you go to Revelation 7, right? Read verse 1. Ah, this is the book of Genesis, chapter 49, verse 1. Uh -huh. And Jacob called unto his sons uh -huh. and said, Gather yourselves together, uh -huh. that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last day. So, so Jacob is telling his sons, right? His sons are, are brothers, right? Okay, cool. So he's telling his his sons what shall befall them in the last days, right? So we're gonna see about all these different um, sons, right? Don't don't leave God. 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 Verse five. Simeon and Levi are brethren. Simeon and Levi are brothers. Well, why is Jacob being redundant? Why is he saying that Simeon and Levi are brothers? Duh, Dad. Yeah. Of course we're brothers, right? <laughs> We got, you're our dad, right. and we got the same mom, right? Okay. He's saying that because Simeon and Levi will be in close proximity. They will share the same land in the end days, right? Read on. Calm. Instruments of cruelty are in their habitation. They're, they're, they're cool. They have anger, right? Read on. Verse 6. Oh, my soul, come not into their secret. They have a, they have a, they have a secret, right? Read on. Unto their assembly. They have an assembly, a secretive assembly, right? Read on. Mine honor. Be thou not united. And Jacob is saying, listen, you two cannot be united, right? Because Simeon and Levi got together, right? And went and slid on an entire town and killed an entire city of, of people, of men, 
who were healing after getting circumcised, right? Now, listen, I'll be frank with you. If you, when you, when you. If you get circumcised and you're not eight days old, as you're supposed to, right. according to the Bible, right? I, my mom didn't circumcise me when I was born, but I got circumcised later on in life, right? The, the healing process is it's not horrible. It's not fun. <laughs> They did. They, they they did that, right? Shiesty, right? <laughs> Real shiesty, right? So Jacob's like, yeah, nah, y'all two niggas cannot be together because y'all killed an entire city of people, right? Read on. God, for in their anger they slew a man, uh -huh. and in their self will they dig down a wall. They, they they went over the walls into the city and killed everybody. You, listen, you put them together. Listen, you're, they about to wreak havoc, right? Read on. Verse seven. Curse be their anger. Curse be their anger. For it was fierce. Uh -huh. And their wrath, for it was cruel. Uh -huh. Read on. I will divide them in Jacob. I will divide them in Jacob. Right, read on. And scatter them in Israel. And scatter them in Israel. So this part is talking mostly about Levi, right? Now, we identify that the Israelites will get scattered to the four corners of the earth, but by and large to the Western Hemisphere. They will come out of the land of the north, Babylon, which is America, right? When we look at Levi, right, which we say is a tribe of uh, so-called Haitians, right, in Simeon, so-called Dominicans, they share an island, Hispaniola, right? They're not united. Your family can't go over to, to DR. Why? Because the Catholic Church, the Dominican friars, who labeled those indigenous brothers as Dominican, right, sold seeds of discord amongst brothers, right? And they did it opportunistic, right? Because the Haitian men, once they got their brother, they got uh, freedom, right? They actually enslaved some of the Dominicans, right? So that, that was that resentment. And they were opportunistic and they sold those seeds of discord, right? And they pushed a doctrine called anti Haitianism in the Dominican Republic, right? When I was in high school, I read a book in Spanish class called El Color de Mis Palabras, right? The color of my words, right? And it talks, it's during the time of the rulership of Trujillo. Right, and I think his name is Anthony Mujillo, right? He was a he was a Spaniard, but he was the ruler and, and, pre and president of Dominican Republic, and he he pushed that anti Haitianism. If you were Dominican and dark skin, it was crazy, real bad, right? He sowed those seeds of discord amongst them, right? This is why they're not united, right? Now it says that they have they have instruments of cruelty. Dominicans and Haitians will fuck some shit up with a, with a machete. Put a, put a machete in, a, in an angry Haitian man's uh, hand or an angry Dominican man's hand, <laughs> you, you got a similar situation with Shepard, right? When you niggas gonna kill an entire city, right? This is why Jacob says, God can't be united. But then he goes on to say, they have an, a secretive assembly. Don't enter into it. Why? They both deal with voodoo, santaria, brujeria, right? That's what that's going into. And then when it talks about how he would divide them in Jacob, he would divide the Levites amongst all the tribes. When you look at the allotment that each tribe got in the ancient world, in the land of Canaan, land of Israel, Levi didn't have a possession to themselves because they had to be the priests, right? So they got suburbs amongst all the tribes. So they were already scattered amongst all the tribes. But in the future, he would also scatter the Haitians. There's a great Haitian diaspora. You got Haitians in, in Mexico, you got a bunch of Haitians in Argentina and Chile, a bunch of them in Colombia, right? Here in, in, in America, right? All over, right? When you look at the, the, the main places where Haitians uh, expatriate to, where they immigrate to, is where all the tribes are, right? Now, hold that. You get Revelation uh, 7, right? And, uh, yeah, it's all the tribes. Gun. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 7 and verse 4. Uh -huh. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. Uh -huh. And there were sealed 144,000 uh -huh. of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Now, all the tribes of the children of Israel, right? 12,000 men of all the tribes, all these tribes are being numbered to be of the ruling body in the kingdom to come, right? Now, this list, right? The, the order of this list is something that you don't see anywhere else in scripture, right? You never see the tribes mentioned in this order. And it's for a particular reason. Because when we look at how these, these tribes are, how these tribes are, are mentioned, right? 
they're mentioned in geographical locale of where we say they are. So just read the names as, as they come down, right? Verse five of the tribe of Judah. Judah. We're sealed. Just, well, just read the tribe's name. Come. The tribe of Judah. And the tribe of Reuben. Reuben. And the tribe of Gad. Stop, right? Judah, Reuben, and Gad, right? What do they have in common? They all live in North America, right next to each other, right? Next. Verse six, the tribe of Asher. Uh huh. And the tribe of Nathali. Asher and Nathali, both are in where? South America, so called. So called uh, Central America, not Central Americans. South Americans from uh, Uruguay to Colombia, right? That's Asher, the, the descendants of the of the uh, of the Inca, right? Yeah, the Inca, right? And then you got Chile and Argentina, which would be the tribe of Naphtali, right? Read on. And of the tribe of Manasseh. Of Manasseh. And verse 7. And of the tribe of Simeon. Simeon. And of the tribe of Levi. Levi, right? Read on. And of the tribe of Issachar. All right, stop right there, right? So you got Simeon, Levi, Manasseh, right? Manasseh would be Cuba. Levi, Haiti. Simeon, DR. DR and, and Haiti, same island. And the next closest island is where? Cuba, right? Read on. Verse 8. And the tribe of Sibion. Um, uh huh. And, and of the. So read Issachar. Come on. Verse 7. And of the tribe of Issachar. Issachar. Verse 8. And of the tribe of Zebulon. The tribe of Zebulon. Issachar and Zebulon, right? Issachar would be so called Mexican, right? Zebulon would be so called Central America, descendants of the Maya, right? Looking at Issachar, they're the descendants of the. Aztecs were formerly known as the Toltecs. And Toltec goes back to a Hebrew word, Tola, right? One of the sons of Issachar's name was Tola, right? Toltec means a people of Tola, right? In Mexico, there's a city called Isuka de Matamoros. That's the tribe of Issachar. And guess what? They're named right with who? Zebulon. Mexico, Central America, right? Read on. And of the tribe of Joseph. Joseph, which will be Ephraim, right? Read on Puerto Rico. And of the tribe of Benjamin. Benjamin. Benjamin will be in the, the uh, Dutch in, in uh, Commonwealth uh, Caribbean Islands, right? So Jamaica, all these places, right? They, they're, they're linked right with them. So they're all in the same geographical locale, all right? All right, sister, you have a good one. Got a flyer, sister? All praises, right? So that's how we understand who the tribes are, right? That's how we understand that through prophecy, right? That was a lot, but we got to go into it in depth, right? right? Now, go back to Jeremiah 6 and go to verse... Uh, Verse 5 or 15. Okay. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 6 and verse 15. Mm -hmm. Where they were they ashamed when they committed abomination? Oh, uh, yeah. You read it. Okay. Verse 15. Were they ashamed when they committed abomination? Again, our people are not ashamed when they commit abomination, right? Okay. One of my beloved brothers, uh, Yahweh All, the Son of Thunder, sent uh, uh, a, a link, a Twitter link, right? And you got Eve, right? She's mad because she just lost the sponsorship, right? From some brand because they said that some of her posts are inappropriate, right? So she shows the post. She's wearing like a fishnet type coverall and like a bikini or something like that. And she just got all ass all in the picture, right? And she, she feels some type of way because she should be able to do that, right? She, she, you should not be able to check her in that. And a lot of us have that mindset. Our people are not ashamed of the abominations that they commit, right? Our people are are proudly LGBTQ+, right? Our people are, our women are proud to be whores. Our brothers are proud to be whoremongers, right? Our brothers are proud to be pimps, right? Our brothers are proud to be sorcerers slinging drugs on the corners, right? Our people are proud to do these things, right? You know? Okay. Were they not ashamed when they have committed abominations? Uh-huh. Nay, they were not at all ashamed. Uh-huh, they're not ashamed. Come on, read on. Neither could they blush. Therefore, they shall all fall among them that fall. See that? And our people who are in those lifestyles, those abominable lifestyles, they're gonna fall, right? You're gonna fall to a grievous death. You got a percent? Bring it out. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter three, verse 16. Uh -huh. Moreover, the Lord saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty, uh -huh. and walk with stretched forth necks, uh -huh. and wanton eyes, right. walking and mincing as they go, and making tinkling with their feet. Verse 17, 
Therefore the Lord will smite with the scab the crown of the daughters of Zion. And you see that? Because of the abominations and the haughtiness and the pride that our people have, specifically our women, right? The Lord said that he got a special judgment for the daughters of Zion, which would be the southern kingdom of, uh, of Judah, right? So-called black Americans, Caribbean Americans, and Asian people, right? He said that he would smite the crown of the head with a scab, right? When we look at these sisters, a lot of them have problems with growing hair. Why? Because the Lord has smitten you with a scab, right? You've been laying, you've been, you've been gluing damn uh, frontals, damn, damn weaves to your, to your baby hair, all right? For, 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 for decades now, right? And guess what? Pulling them drawings out, right? Now you got no edges, right? <laughs> All right, you got no edges, right? Come on. Ah, and the Lord will discover their secret parts. Uh-huh. Verse 18. You got to discover their secret parts, right? And, and now, they're so proud, they're in a, in a fashion, in a bomb of a way, they just show their secret parts for everyone, right. right? They got only fans, right? Only their fans. They, 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 they say, yo, pay me, subscribe for $15 a month, right? Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe for X amount of dollars a month so that you can see my secret parts, right? Come on. Come, verse 18. In that day, the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments. Uh -huh, but there's a day coming. You can do that now, all right, to your heart's content, right? But there's a day coming where the Lord's going to take away all the little ornaments, all the little jewels, all the ice that you got, right? Come on. Come, about their feet Come and on. their calls around and their round tires like the moon. Come on. Verse 19. The chains and the bracelets and the mufflers, uh -huh. the bonnets and the ornaments. The bonnets, they got the head wraps, they got the little, you know what I mean, little silk. So they got the little, they got the braids, slick back braids, baby hairs laid. She got the, got the bandana, the, the Gucci drawn tied around her head, right? Come on. And the ornaments of the legs and the headbands uh -huh. and the tablets of the earrings, uh -huh. the rings and the nose jewels. Uh -huh. Verse 22. The changeable suits of apparel. She got all the latest drip. You know what right. I mean? She is a fashion over queen, right? She's a sheen queen. All right, she get she get sheen sending her stuff to try on, little skippy outfits and whatnot, right? She on TikTok. Get oh they got this new thing, get ready with me. G R W M. Right, get ready with me. Right, come on. Huh. And the mantles and the wimples and the crisping pits. Uh-huh. Verse 23. The glasses and the fine linen. And the hoods and the veils. Come on. Verse 24. It shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, uh -huh. there shall be stink. So now you got no edges in your box smell like uh cat food. All right. Why? Because 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 you're prop you have no shame in your game. You got no shame, all right, in all the abominations that you put out. Right, read on. And instead of a girdle of rent, and instead of a girdle of rent, and instead of well set hair, baldness. Now you, you ball, right? Read on. And instead of a stomacher, a girding of sackcloth. Uh-huh. See that? Read on. And burning instead of beauty. And now you burn it. Why? Because you out here busting it open for everybody, right? You got no shame in your game, right? You don't caught five, six, seven goddamn STIs, right? They call them, they call them STIs now, not STDs, right? STIs, right? So this shit smell like, like damn, you know, fish was cold, all right? <laughs> shit just boofing, right? Right, Benjamin said the poom poom frowsy right? <laughs> Why? Because you have no shame in your game. You don't want to serve your God through fear and sincerity, right? You don't want to love your God, right? Go back to uh, Jeremiah. You got pizza? Bring it out. Okay, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 16. Chapter 16 and verse 44. Behold, everyone that uses proverb shall use his proverb against thee, saying, as is the mother, so is her daughter. As is the mother, so is her daughter, right? Now, when we look at this application, it's talking about the nation of Israel, right? Our, our mother was, a, was, was a, what, an Amorite, our father was a Hittite, right? We followed the ways of the heathen, right? So to curse us for what we did as the men leading the nation into idolatry and spiritual fornication, now he allowed our women to go into literal physical fornication, right? But as is the mother, so is the daughter. That's why our sisters nowadays, right, they out here twerking, all right, on TikTok with their daughters. Yeah. You're, you're not, you have, again, you have no shame in your game, and this is why the Lord is plaguing you with, with stinky box, all right? Discharges, you know what I mean? Ball head, right? They had a song back in the day, ball head, oh, scally <laughs> Ain't got no hair in the bag, right? God. That's what's going on, man. 
right? Because you want to be proud as all hell. So go back to Jeremiah. Bring it out. Go back to 18. No, uh, Jeremiah 6. Where you was at? Uh, 16. Okay. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16. I have to read verse 15 again. Okay. okay. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 15. Were they ashamed when they had committed abominations? Nope. She's not ashamed twerking on TikTok with her daughter. Right? Right? A nigga's not ashamed, all right, at selling drugs to his people. Right? Come on. Nay, they were not at all ashamed. Neither could they blush. Therefore, they shall fall among them that fall. Come on. At the time that I visit them, they shall be cast down. You see that? And the Lord is visiting this place, Philadelphia, man. The so-called city of brotherly love. You niggas, all right, and you hoes is getting gunned down at alarming rates, man. Right? You think that all these, all these, all these murders in Philly, all right, is just brothers? No. Sisters is getting hit too, man. Right? I just, I just heard the other day. Uh, right at the block from my crib, three women got shot and killed. It's like, damn, they are, they sliding on chicks now, right? Chicks are sliding, right? There's there's a, a, a rapper, I don't know where she's from. She either from, I think, I think she's from South Jersey, if not Philly. Her name is Nia G, right? And she said, my gun buy it go both ways. Like she she with the Hooters, she she got all the guns in the video, all that stuff. I, listen, our sister's getting killed too, man. Right? So y'all gonna fall because y'all have no shame in y'all game and all the abominations that you perpetuate. Our people are wise, right? Wise to do evil. We had a sister come up here, right? She was scantily clad. I mean, it's hot. I expect it. Beautiful sister. The brother asks her a simple question, right? What's her nationality? She said, I'm black. Sister, she, she a yellow bone, right? She light skin. Got on a black shirt. He said, your shirt's black. Skin's not black. How are you black? With that, she had to go, right? Simple. But guess what? I, I'm sure she know how to cheat. She, she's talented in something that's evil. I guarantee it. Our people are, listen, when I was in the world, I was, I was great at doing evil. I was great at it, man. So, listen, we excelled in wickedness, right? That's our people, man. We have no shame in our game, right? We, 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 we want to be the best. And wickedness, right? Our, our men want to be the best homosexuals, right? Our women want to be the best whores, right? Come on, man. Read on. Huh. And they shall be cast down, saith Yahweh. Verse 16. Thus saith Yahweh, stand ye in the way and see and ask for the old paths. See that? Y'all should be standing in the ways and asking for the old paths, man. And we, the men of the Lord, we are out here to, to show you the old paths, show you the right ways, right? Get that in Isaiah 30. Read on. Son, where is the good way? Y'all should be asking, where is the good way? Right? You should have enough sense in your mind, since y'all so wise, right, at doing evil. You should have enough sense in your mind to ask, man, this should be, this should be called life. This just ain't living, man. Right. We not living. This is, being able to, on a Saturday, fly down to, to uh, 69th Street to go to damn H&M, right, or damn Old Navy, Right? To shop to your drop. Take living. Right? Niggas thought they were living. Right? Niggas was living during during Trump's reign. Right? When Trump was giving niggas PPP and PUA and whatever the hell else. They all, call, all these damn acronyms. Right? And now, here comes Jim Crow Joe that you niggas voted for. Right? That you niggas are, oh, we gotta get Trump up out of here. But that nigga was just eating on Trump. Now, Joe Biden hired a whole bunch of IRS agents <laughs> to come after all you niggas who scanned the system. You got, those, you got the damn PPP money, right? <laughs> he was living then, right? And now y'all ask about the pay, right? Read on. Where is the good way? Y'all should be asking where the good way, right? Instead of worrying about the next, the next move, right? The next come up, right? The next scheme, right? Niggas go from damn Forex to damn selling, uh, I don't know, niggas, niggas are selling Niggas download a free app or, or an app that you maybe pay ten dollars for, right? To turn people's pictures into cartoons, mm -hmm. all right? And now you scamming niggas online, saying, "Oh, you need a need need some artwork." 
No, I don't need no artwork. <laughs> I, I can download the damn app that you just do downloaded myself, and do yeah. it myself. Cut up, you silly ass Christians had to cut out all that crying and bitching. Last day, shit is getting scary. They getting shook while we getting married. Sakari hand out obituaries, putting seminaries in the cemetery. We don't want nothing in return. Can't say the same for the Christian church who pass around that collection plate like six times for you hear a verse. Adultery, a bunch of secret hate. The sad to say shit is getting worse. Where they can't see these labor pains. Shit, before you know it, you'll be giving birth. Before you know it, you'll be seeing missiles. Before you know it, you'll be seeing shit. Israel got the birthright. It's not shows like CZ did.